Menstrual hygiene management is today a growing challenge among young girls reaching puberty. This has often led to young girls' absenteeism from school when they received little or no help from their guardians and parents. Schools with inadequate latrines, and sometimes shared among both sexes, pose a privacy and dignity challenge since girls cannot easily change during their periods. In 2012, Plan International Uganda recognized a need to intervene and support schools and communities through training senior women and men teachers and village health teams to educate young girls and boys as well as communities on managing menstruation situations. Veronica is one among many girls who menstrual hygiene management program has impacted since the program was rolled out in the districts of Tororo, Kamuli, Lira, and Aleptong. Menstrual hygiene lessons have helped me to, to, know, to manage my menstruation, to keep my body clean, to, to know how to use pads, and to know how to make even local pads. Audrey is one of the senior women teachers in Tororo who received training on menstrual hygiene management. We were not free talking about issues of menstruation in the open. And you find that uh, now where we are with the girls, you would feel shy approaching an issue, an issue, okay? Like say for example, a child comes in school, receives her periods, there is nobody they can run to. And even if they came to you, you couldn't talk freely about it. Because you see, for us in our culture, all those days, menstruation was a private thing. Nobody needed to know about it. So it was a challenge in a way that they were missing school a lot because they didn't get clear information about it. The boys have also been included in the program as part of an awareness campaign to be able to support the girls during yes. their menstrual experience. In the inside way, then you put from the menstrual hygiene lessons I have I am able I have able I have been able to learn to make the local sanitary pads and I have made four I have given my mother and our fellow sisters who are still growing. And we have also made and leave it in the school for the girls who have received the unknown period. Finding affordable sanitary pads is one challenge many young girls and women experience in several communities. To solve this challenge, Plan International Uganda, in partnership with AfriPad, a company making reusable sanitary pads, made it possible for girls and women experiencing menstrual cycles to easily access sanitary pads in their communities. I am a woman who Thanks to the role the village health teams play in sensitizing community members. Menstrual hygiene management program has greatly boosted the confidence and class attendance of many girls in rural schools. Young girls are not shy anymore to mix with their friends in school. It is very true and categorical that the completion rate of girl child was so much affected negatively. Very few girls completed primary course. The numbers where this has been done 
the number of girl children is much higher than the number of what? Boys. So the retention rate has improved. That is where we are now. Even dropping out rate it is highly minimized. PLAN is an NGO which deserves to be emulated by other NGOs. We shouldn't take menstruation for granted. It's a very important area. We have seen it that, that the girls are now happy. Early marriages are reducing. The taboos attached to menstruation are reducing. People are beginning to pick, because at the beginning they thought that it was something small that it was not worth undertaking. But I want to tell you today, people have realized that menstruation was contributing to a big percentage of girls dropping out of school. So it is something that, a practice that we should uphold. It is something that we shouldn't take for granted. We need our girls to continue with education. We need to empower the girls. Mestro hygiene, the kita better life. We need to be smart and clean all we do. Mestro hygiene, the kita better life. We need to be smart and clean all we do.